Hi Heathens at Home, uh, Helen here and I thought this week I would do you a little video to show you how to pickle. So today we are pickling these little cucumbers um, or gherkins. So these ones are smooth ones but you can also get gherkins which are a little bit spiky. Now if you have the spiky kind all you need to do is run a knife very gently over them and that will knock the spikes off because you don't want to eat spikes really. But as I say, today we're pickling these lovely little cucumbers. So, what we need to do first off, which I've done in advance, is to get some nice jam jars or some lever arch jars like these and you need to sterilise them. Now, there's a couple of ways you can sterilise. You can put them in a big, big pan um, with boiling water and boil them for 15-20 minutes. You could put them through the dishwasher or if you have a microwave um, steriliser you can put the glass parts into the microwave and that usually takes about six minutes uh, but you've got to remember you can't put the metal lids into the microwave, you'll still have to boil those. So, I've already sterilised these jars so what we're going to do is we want to decide how we're going to chop our gherkins, our cucumbers for pickling. Now you can do this a couple of ways, so I'm going, to, I'm going to do them both ways. You can slice them, so we take the ends off and we discard that. So you can just slice them about half a centimetre thick. And then again, that end, we don't want to pickle the end that it's grown from, so we discard that too. So that's your lovely little cucumber slices. And those very simply get dropped into your jar. So I'm just putting the slices in the jar like so. Now the other way that you can cut these is if you like long spears. So again, you need to trim the top and bottom off of the cucumber and again discard that and then what you want to do is very carefully cut it in half lengthways like so and then put it on the flat side and then cut it lengthways again so then you end up with these lovely long spears which are great inside burgers so again we're just going to drop them straight into our jar now the other thing that we're going to use that's fresh, you might have noticed on the side here, for these pickles we put dill in. Dill is a beautiful, quite fragrant herb and it goes absolutely perfectly with these pickles. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put, pick and put some dill in. And the light's gone off so I'm just going to make the light go back on. As you can see I'm actually cooking in Heathland's Kitchen today. So, yes, we're going to put some dill in with our pickles. And then what we're going to do, once the jars are filled up, is I'm going to move over to the hob and show you how to create and how to make your pickling juices. So, as you can see, we've got our cucumber and our dill. So, once these are filled up, we'll take you over to the hob. So, now that we've filled our jars with our cucumbers or gherkins, what we need to do is make our pickling brine. Now, the simplest way to do this is to combine vinegar with water, a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. So the ratio for this is for every two cups of vinegar that I'm using, I'm going to put one cup of water in and it's just cold water and this is pickling vinegar or white vinegar. So I've done five jars, well four big jars and a little one. So I'm going to do four cups of vinegar. One, two, three, four. So now we need two cups of our water. One, two, 
two. Now, that looks like quite a lot of liquid, but the thing is, it doesn't matter if we have some left over, because what we can do is we can put that into a jar as well and use it for another pickle another day. So into this, I'm going to put two tablespoons of sugar, caster sugar or granular sugar is absolutely fine. So that's two level tablespoons and I'm going to put two teaspoons of salt if I can. Now this is nice coarse sea salt, good quality salt. You don't really want to use cheap table salt for pickling because it will affect the flavour. So there you go, two teaspoons. So what we need to do is we need to turn our heat on and we need to let that come up to the boil so that all the sugar and all the salt has combined with the vinegar and the water. Now, you can add other ingredients to pickling brine. It would be really nice to add mustard seeds into this. You could add black peppercorns for something like beetroot or even a bay leaf. Um, think about how your herbs and spices will, will taste when they combine. So we're going to let that come up to temperature and once it's to the boil, we're going to take it over back to our pickling jars and get everything set up. We are back to put our pickling brine into our prepared cucumber jars. Now, a tip I have here, unless you're using a pan which has got a pouring spout on it, is I would transfer your pickling juice from the pan to a jug. Now, do this carefully because it will be very hot. I'm just going to set that to one side. So, all we're going to do now is to top these up right, right to the top almost. You want to cover all of those cucumbers. Take your time, you don't have to rush. Now obviously these jars are going to be hot now, so what I would do is leave them for a little while to cool before you move them to where you're going to store them. Tip that one over a tiny bit, that one's full just this one now. Now what you'll notice is over the next few days is your cucumbers will start to turn kind of a, to a more olive green. Now that's perfectly normal, it just means that the pickling has worked. To get that one submerged. And that is all we have to it. Now I have got pickling liquor left, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jar that up. As you see, I've got quite a bit. I'm going to jar that up and I'm going to use that tomorrow to show you guys how to pickle beetroot. So all we need to do now, very carefully because it will be hot, is to put the lids on all of our jars, making sure everything's sealed nice and safe. Trying not to get your fingers burnt. And that is us done. I'll give you a little look closer to how this should look in the jar. You can see all those lovely slices there and some lovely dill. So the dill will come out of the flavour of the dill. It'll come out and go into the cucumbers give them this lovely aromatic flavour. And that's all we have to it. We hope you've enjoyed this one and we will be back, as I say, tomorrow to film how to pickle beetroot.